Okay, recording is started. <clears throat> I have to share this. We'll discuss first a uh, little bit theory part, and then yeah, we yeah. can uh, then we can implement one stand uh, one example. Okay. with the help of a json model okay? okay okay i'll tell you how to bind the uh, data to the table means in the end what we normally do uh, sanjeev so if you read any service right from the o data with the help of mm. o data model mm. that data you will receive in the json format right usually yes. so I that data you will yeah. you will store in the json model okay so that how we use once once the data is available in the json model then we can then we can simply bind that json model data to the JSON, to the table to any control mm. like table list or anything mm. okay, that's how we normally do okay so i'm keeping you on mute once i uh, once i explain this uh, yeah. complete this explanation then you can ask me questions yeah okay? I, I am putting on mute okay Okay. Okay. So, so today we'll start with a new topic. What is the models? So before I talk with, uh, before I start talking for the, or discuss uh, with the models in UFI. So generally, what are the models? So when you consider a model in SAP UFI, a model is nothing, but it is a control container in which we normally store the data. And with the help of that data, model just provides us the methods. So that method can helps us to manipulate the data in the application level. Okay. So for example, if I want to update any data or if I want to add any data or if I want to set the data to controls and all for every purpose, we use, we generally use the models. Okay. So that's why models are very important in MVC architecture because models, what what the, what the, uh, what they do they generally separate the data from the application logic and the application ui okay so that's why we use the model in sap ui fi so in sap ui fi there are there are four predefined types of uh, models that are provided so first one is the json model so what is the json model so generally json model always always works with the json data okay so the data must be the JSON type, then only this model will work. And, and next thing, it, it is always in the client side, okay? So uh, if you want to store any data, which is in small inside, uh, the data is not so big. So in that case, you generally prefer the JSON model, but make sure that the data is stored in the JSON format, okay? For the JSON model, that's why it is a client side model. Suppose if I want to bind the data to the table, and generally the data is a JSON data, so I can use the JSON model. Okay, so that is nothing but a JSON model. So same like what is a O data model. So when it comes to the O data model, O data model is not a client side model. It basically a server side model. Okay, so it is not a client side model and it's uh, definitely not used for storing the data. Okay, so for example if i'm uh, if i have integrated a uh, sap system to my uh, bs uh, okay in bs application so what will happen if i want to fetch some data from the sap system so for that i generally use the o data model okay o data with the help of o data models api we can uh, perform the crude operation like create update delete on the on the service or whichever the service we integrate so so O data model, it helps us to provide such kind of features so that we can uh, manipulate or we can perform uh, operation on the O data services. Okay, so generic difference between the O data model and JSON model is that JSON model is the client side model, but in case of O data model, it's a server side model. Okay, so if there is any server or you want to fetch any data. So in that case, you, we generally use the O data model. After that, the resource model. 
So what is the resource model? So resource model is nothing but it is generally used with a resource bundle. OK, so if you want to if uh, so there is there is any text a hard coded text in your application that you uh, maintain in a central place or the location in the i18.properties resource bundle file. So in that case, we generally use the resource model. OK, so resource model helps us to manipulate the data from the resource bundle so that it can be used throughout the application for the binding. OK, so that is nothing but a resource model. So it mainly works with the text that can be translated into the different languages. So for that text, we generally use the resource model. Next XML model. So XML model, it's a rarely used model in SAP UIFI. So maximum we prefer the JSON model, ODATA model and the resource model. XML model only can be used when it comes to the XML format data. OK, if you have the data in XML format, so we generally use the XML model. OK. And it is also same like the JSON model. OK, it's a client side model means uh, when when your application is running. So in that case, some part of data is stored in the XML model uh, till your application running when once your application is destroyed or it uh, the application is end ended. So in that case, what will happen the whatever the data is stored in the model in any JSON model or XML model that data can be freed up. OK, the resources can be freed up. So that data is no more no more there in the JSON model or any model. JSON model or data uh, XML model. OK, so generally this JSON model and XML model that are client side model. OK, they hold some part of data when the application is running in the browsers in the user browsers location. OK, so this is the general overview of a models in SAP UI 5. So next. So let me explain you what is a data binding in SAP UI 5. So what is a data binding? So data binding is very important concept in the SAP UI 5 with the. So what is generally the data binding? So when you want to bind any two data source. OK, so for example. In the view you uh, you design some controls. OK, so for example, there is a table. OK, but for and there is also the model for uh, let me take an example of JSON model. OK, so JSON model is holding the JSON data. And in that is what will happen if you want to bind the data that JSON data to the table. So what will help? So J data binding is it is a technique or uh, you can call it as it is one of the way that will help us to bind the JSON data to the table so that both the model, the data source and the binding target, for example, the table will be synchronized so that any changes for example that the data if that is changed in the table so that can be automatically will be reflected in the model or if model data is changed automatically the data will be changed in the table so that is how the data binding will help okay so if you want to uh, if you want to work with the data binding concept so there are uh, three steps mainly you first need to decide the model. What type of model you need to use? For example, there is a JSON model, XML model, resource model. OK, so you can you can first make sure that what type of model you want to use after that. After uh, after selecting the model, then make sure that you create an instance for that model. OK, so when you, whenever you create any model, so make sure that you create an instance of that model, because what will happen when you create any instance for the model? With the help of that instance, you can you can directly perform or you can manipulate the model with the help of its methods. OK, so we already defined right. We already discussed that models provides the predefined methods. If you want to retrieve or if you want to set the data or get the data or update the data from the model. OK, so with the with the help of those features, we can simply manipulate the model. So so that's why we need a control instance or model instance also. OK, so once the model instance or control instance is created after that, we can simply bind whatever the data is there in the model to the list to the list or any uh, table you can consider anything. OK. 
So this is the basic understanding of uh, data binding in SAP UI5. Next, how the data binding works in SAP UI5. Okay, so this is the generic architecture or you can call it as a, the diagram where we see how uh, the data binding works. So in the top level in the blue color, you can see there is a view. Okay, so this these are the final uh, the application UI where everything the data data which is been fetched from the uh, external sources okay so these are the external data sources for example if i'm fetching any o data service okay so in that what will happen that data will be the day uh, the the fetching of the data will be done with the help of o data model and finally that data can be stored in the json model or anything the json model or xml model based on the type of service it is okay if it is json web service then it is a json model or if it is a xml web service then it would be an xml model okay the type of data you fetch from the sap system it depends on that so generally we use the json model only so nowadays only the json format data is used mostly so so if i if i'm fetching any json data with the help of uh, with the help of o data model so so that data i will receive in the json format so i can simply store that uh, data in the json model so here you can see internal data sources okay so there so when you run your application on the browser so at a runtime so there are some predefined memory for the json object and resource bundle okay so these are the two models for example uh, let's let's say the resource model and the json model okay so that generally generally store some part of data for the resource bundle and also for the json data okay so that data is stored in the internal data sources when you run any application on the browser but but as soon as you close that application this data will be gone okay that data will no longer be available when you when you run the application for the next time when you run it then only again some part of data again it will be available whatever you stored it okay on the runtime so this this is the model section so the data will be fetched some part of data can be stored like a json object also or some uh, resource model data in the internal data source after that with the help of this model that model models data can be used by the ui controls okay in the view so that is how the generic working of a data binding so what is this one way binding two way binding one time binding okay so let me explain you so let me tell you what is a one way binding okay suppose any data from the model to the ui controls okay when the data is flowed from the model to the control so that is nothing but one way binding okay means only the data is flowed from the one direction that is from the model to the ui controls so that is a one way binding so what about the two way binding in two way binding what will happen any uh, for example the data will be flowed from model to the ui controls means and af and same in the manner from the ui controls to the models okay in the both direction the data can be flowed so that is nothing but the two way binding suppose if you change any data okay if you change any data in the model so same way that models data can also be reflected in the ui controls okay and again if you change any data in the ui controls so again it will change in the model also okay so that is how the two way binding works in one way binding what will happen once you change any data on the table it will not reflect in the in the model but for the for the two way binding what will happen anything you update in the model also or in the table also or in the ui control also in both the direction the data can be updated in the model also or in the table also so what is the one time binding generally the one time binding is uh, supported by the resource model okay so by default it's a, be a default behavior of a resource model means when you run the application whatever the data you stored whatever the text you stored in the resource bundle file that can be binded to the resource uh, to any control but only for one time after that you cannot change any data okay so that data cannot be changed in the model 
it's only for a one time once it is binded to the controls then after it cannot be changed but it is not the case with that uh, the xml model json model or or data model Th these are the uh, two way binding two way binding kind of models okay okay so so generally this is the uh, overview of a data binding in sap ui5 so now let's try to implement how the json model so we'll discuss the json model how that can be implemented in actual uh, in actual application development okay so let me open my business application studio 